heard about, probably the most powerful indicator that I'm aware of. And here's why it's so powerful. It predicts the future. <laughs> what? Yeah. All right. What the heck am I talking about? Check this out. I actually have a video about this already created. It's right here. But more importantly than that, check this out. The market seemingly by either design or some unexplained conspiracy tends to move with the moon cycles. If you click on indicators and type in moon and select moon phases, this is what you might see. And if you don't see it, click on where the settings tabs are and make sure the inputs, the waning and waxing full moon, you buy on the waning moon, which in layman's terms is the full moon and the waxing moon is the new moon, which is where you sell and buy George, it works stunningly. Look at how the full moon called the bottom of Visa numerous times. I mean, it is scary accurate. And the best part is we know what the moon cycles will be into infinity. You can pre-plan days, weeks, or months ahead of time on your moon cycles, full moon or new moon. And the truth is, as I'm playing it up a little bit, you want to make sure that you're still using other technical analysis, volume, candles. You can certainly use your long-term moving averages. In fact, if you use the 200 simple moving average, you'll also see that the 200 simple moving average and the 100 simple moving average also called the bottom of Visa numerous times. And of course, you had this really perfect one white soldier hammer off the 200 gap and go that was a stunning spot to buy as well. But what I can say for sure is if you start compounding all of the factors and get a giant playbook that says, yes, 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 yes. Oh, and it's a full moon. Well, I probably should buy it. You would be correct. Now, here's the best part of the whole video. I want to show you not only how you can practice the full moon indicator, but how you can really use any indicator that you want to practice your trading. Check it out. In trading view, click on whatever indicator you want and let's go ahead and go back in time. So let's say we go back in time to, I don't know, 2013, uh, March 4th, April 4th, 2013. I'm gonna click go to, and I'm gonna come up here to where it says replay and I'm gonna click on right there. Now I've gone forward in the future. And then the bottom right hand side, you'll actually see where it says buy and sell. This is an incredible functionality where you can practice in real time using technology and push buttons where you can simply allow yourself to buy and sell and pretend and practice how the stock actually moves like it would in real time. So you can see your PL go up and down and you can really start to practice the emotions. That's right. It's really uh, super easy, actually. It's available on so many platforms. So Visa here, notice that we have a new moon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for a full moon to come in while the stock is also low, and then I'm gonna practice my buy sell buttons down here to really help me practice the uh, trading mechanisms. Now again, this full moon, great full moon. It probably is gonna go higher, which we can already see it did, but it's at a big resistance. So I'm still waiting for a good full moon indicator where it's nice and low. And of course, you could also practice your new moon short indicator as well, if you want to. That, that would've been a nice three or four days. But let's just wait until I'm nice and low. Price action's pulled down and I'm at a low point. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And Visa's just taken off. I mean, it is Visa after all. But waiting for an extremely high probability trade. Beautiful, beautiful. Still waiting for a nice low level, a good selling indication. There is a good selling. All right, so the next you're gonna get a new moon. There it is, and beautiful. Let's start coming into, here we go. The full moon, I'm gonna go ahead and change this and let's do, I don't know, 500 shares, uh, 500 quantity. There it is. And full moon's coming, boom gonna buy. 
And this will be buying the close of that particular market. And of course you might say, well, when am I gonna sell? Well, keep in mind in previous videos, I mentioned how you wanna buy a company that you know is gonna go higher over time, buy some size, leave it alone for a while and just sit back and let it do its thing. Build your trading, build your expertise, build your active trades. Again, you can see all type of trades in here so far that I haven't traded, but this would probably be a little bit more of an investment. And I'm gonna buy some shares of Visa and on this particular move, let's just see what it does. Coming into earnings, we have a little bit of a pop and earnings gaps down, big bear volume. Let's go ahead and practice volume while we're here. If we close above that volume, then we will know that the bears are gonna be trapped and Visa is gonna go higher, working on the close and there's a good close. And again, in real time right here, you can see pretty cool, right? That PL adjusting every single day. There's the retest and this should be at a good move higher. So we're up at least $1.81 per share because we're up $581. So you had the new moon. We're gonna come into a new high. We're about to collect some dividends. There's the divvies. We just got some dividends. That's what caused that little drop there. And now we're pushing higher into the new moon where we will flatten. Look at that, $1,327. And also, shout outs to the volume indicator. I mean. Close above, retest, old resistance, new support, as per volume, trade up, pulled back because of dividends and trade up higher. Such a beautiful pattern, I love it. I hope this video was helpful, intriguing, mysterious, cool, and I hope it accelerates your profits, helps you make a ton of money so that you can donate, give, provide, thrive, grow, and help so many other traders all around the world with our mission at Real Life Trading, which is to enrich lives. Thanks for watching this video, you work.